I just got this new laptop, Asus's new G51A1. Just got it off of ExoticPC.com, and I'll be going through a little short review with you guys. So, let's take a look. So, after you spent your $1,600, what do you actually get at your front door? So, let's see. At first, you get, the, obviously, the laptop. You get your huge uh, power brick. You get these... Uh, E-sticks, which are kind of fancy. I'll show you that later. A uh, optical gaming mouse. Cleaning pad, which is very nice because this thing does attract a lot of uh, fingerprints and grime and dust. A uh, funky cable tie. Standard documentation. Recovery discs and drivers. You also get this Targus backpack, which is a really, really, really nice backpack. I actually like it. Um, has a lot of padding, a lot of protection for your laptop, a bunch of pockets. Everything you can imagine is in that backpack. So let's take a deeper look at this laptop. This thing is chock full of features and ports and just about anything you can imagine. I mean, this thing far exceeds any other laptop I've seen that you can get for the same price. Let's see if we can log on here with this smart log on thing, if it'll recognize me. Yeah, look at that, it recognized me. Nice. Alright, so let's go through the exterior of the laptop. All right here's your little heads up display, you got Wi-Fi, you got your power, battery indicator. On this side, you have your express card, multi-card reader, HDMI, eSATA, FireWire, external antenna, for Wi-Fi, USB 2.0 port, you got your external VGA, oh by the way these are not speakers for those who are wondering and this appears to look like some kind of infrared port. So let's go on the other side here. Over here we got your three audio jacks, you got your microphone, your line in, your line out, two USB ports, your DVD reader, um, read write also with uh, light scribe, which is very neat. And as we go back here, you got your Kingston lock, your Ethernet, another USB port, AC power in, and optical out. And as far as the lid graphics are, I expected to get the uh, white lid graphics not this one but oh well it looks really cool it has a nice depth and tone to it which i really like also has the leds on it which are really nice and for some apparent reason i can't figure out how to control them i don't know if it comes with the driver or feature to control them like the g50 does but oh well i'm sure asus will probably come out with an update for that so let's look at the inside of the laptop you got your 2.0 megapixel webcam you got your Altec Lansing speakers. Unfortunately, this does not come with the OLED display, which is kind of a bummer, because even though people say it's a waste of money and time for Asus to put that in there, I kind of thought it was kind of neat. But whatever, it's my opinion. These are your uh, heat-sensitive pads. Express gate. Obviously, power button. And this is your full-size chiclet keyboard with backlight. This is a really, really, really nice keyboard. I like the way it types, very soft. And the back, backlight on this thing is actually very, very bright. Um, let's just see here. I don't know if you can see that. Right now it's broad daylight and things are already pretty dang bright. You got your fancy touchpad here. Aluminum uh, bezel thing here. You have your vertical scrolling as well as horizontal scrolling, which I thought was pretty neat. Unfortunately, the trackpad does not light up like the G50, but oh well. This laptop also comes with the uh, two 320 gigabyte hard drives, which is really nice, a lot of storage. Only thing I disliked about that was that the uh, manufacturer partitioned each hard drive in half, so that was kind of annoying, but I simply just get rid of those partitions and you have two humongous hard drives with a bunch of space. So let me show you these things, the E-Sticks. These are kind of like a knockoff of a Wii Stick, but oh well, it's still pretty fancy. 
little little e stick dongle. Let's plug this into one of the many USB ports on this laptop. Let's pick this up. Turn on the e stick. And there you go. See, I can move this around. I can click. I can do all kinds of functions with it. You can use this as a mouse, actually. And it has built-in vibra uh, vibration. So it's kind of like a, a paddle. So I thought that was kind of neat. And here is the gaming mouse that comes with it. it. has a load of buttons on it. Buttons right there. Scroll feature. And the other thing I noticed is it has this button on the back, which is really, really nice. If you click it once, it increases your mouse sensitivity. If you click it again, it decreases your mouse sensitivity. So, let's plug this in. And it's a big giant blue glowy mouse. So let's take a look at the uh, touch sensitive buttons. This right here controls your display. So you got a host of uh, display features. This one over here controls your clock and what I mean by clock is the speed of your CPU, GPU. So let's check that out. You have entertainment mode, office mode, power saving mode, and where are you? There we go, performance mode. Also over here, yes, it does come with the power for gear feature. And I got stupid Vista UAC. So here it is, power for gear hybrid. Yes, it does overclock. Yay, it does have the pl does have the software. And you can choose between different modes like such on this one you can choose between turbo and extreme turbo mode which of course will kill your battery life if you don't have it plugged in so I'd highly recommend when you game on this thing game with your AC plug-in plugged in and as far as battery goes battery life the longest I was able to get this thing to run was approximately two hours and that was on high performance mode. So yeah it has crappy battery life but hey it's a gaming laptop. So that wraps it up for my little review on this gaming laptop. A great gaming laptop, excellent build quality. As I said earlier this thing is pretty dang sweet. Best bang for your buck as far as price wise goes and what you get.